Hi, this is Susan Priest, WNC Community College professor, and this short instructional video is designed to help you interpret your scores from taking the LASI, Learning and Study Strategies Inventory. So by now you've already taken this signature self-assessment, but I want to remind you again, please remember this is not a test. Whatever scores that you have on this is not any kind of mark against you, right? That's very important. I want you to look at the information that you've received and just look at it honestly as information that could possibly help you improve for the future. That's all. So after you took the LASI, you should have been directed to print out your student profile, and it should look something like this. So you'll notice in this Joe student sample, it's a little hard to see, you'll have scores for 10 different scales. Your scores will, there'll be some information about interpreting your LASI scores, and it's going to show you where you fall in comparison to other people who have taken this test. So your, your scores will either range in the 0 to 50% range, that's this first section, the 50 to 75, or the 75 to 99. Wherever you fall, it's really important not to get overly attached to the results or to get super bummed out about having a quote unquote low score. This is the most important thing for this instructional video. So this is what tends to happen when people take inventories. They think, or when they take tests, they tend to think, oh, my score, if it's low, it means I'm bad. Or you can think, oh, if my score is high, I'm the best. So just be aware that that is a natural tendency we have when we look at our scores. And it's actually a distortion in thinking. It's just information. It's just information. So you're going to bring your student profile to class or discuss it with your classmates online, either way. But I'm going to give you a, a little heads up about the 10 different scales. So the first is anxiety. ANX stands for anxiety and worry about school performance. It's important to note that this is not a diagnosis of any kind of anxiety disorder. Absolutely not. It is in fact just a measurement of how anxious you are about school and things relating to school. Now, some this is the one scale when you have a high score, it does not mean you have a high anxiety. If you have a high score, it means you have low anxiety. If you have a low score, it means that you tend to be more worried about anxiety and, and you have more worry about school performance. The second scale is attitude, ATT, attitude and interest. And that's the degree to which you are interested in subjects outside of your major. So this isn't about whether or not you have a bad or good attitude. It's about how interested are you in a variety of subjects. We'll talk more about why that might be important to your success. The third scale is CON or concentration, which is how much how concentrated and how much attention you give to academic tasks. The fourth scale is information processing, which is about uh, memory and cognitive abilities to remember and acquire information. Motivation now, motivation is something that is has a wide variety of definitions, but in the Learning and Study Strategies Inventory, motivation is diligence, self-discipline, and willingness to work hard. 
a willingness to set goals to make things happen. SFT stands for self-testing, reviewing, and preparing for classes. SMI stands for selecting main ideas and recognizing important information. If you've ever been in a class and you're not sure how to decide what's important, this is a skill set that you can develop, you can improve. You can improve all of these scales. Time management is the use of time management pr principles for academic tasks. It's kind of straightforward. Uh, TSD stands for test strategies and how you prepare for tests. It's a lot about how you prepare for tests. And then the last scale is UAR, which stands um, <clears throat> for use of academic resources. So it's really about the, your use of support techniques going to tutoring, asking for help from a coach, asking for help from your teacher. So as you look at your various scores on all these 10 scales, think about what's your response to all of this? And think about what is one, of, one scale that you personally would like to improve during the semester that you are taking this class. So it's very important to think about this because remember our theme of metacognition means the more we're self-aware, uh, the more we get out of the experience. The more we're self-aware, the more likely we are to change. The more we're self-aware, the more likely we are to improve. So Go back and look at your scores and think about what is one area that you would like to work on this semester.